So the DualShock 4 back button. So I, I don't know if you guys even know what this is. No, what is it? The DualShock 4 is in one of these. So yeah, with the DualShock 4, earlier this year, Sony actually announced, I, you can see it in my video, Mike. Sony not- actually announced that they're going to have an accessory for the DualShock. Okay. Where you can plug it in at the bottom of the DualShock and it adds, you know, Xbox Elite style, you know, uh, trigger buttons at the bottom. So, you know, being the crazy Rocket League person that I am and I'm always like, oh, you know, and I've actually mentioned on this podcast, remember when I asked you, Swinney, when I was playing Ori, I felt that I needed to press all like R1, R2, L1, L2 at certain times. And it didn't feel very comfortable. And then they had that DualShock back button attachment, but it sold out in Australia almost instantly. Then I was like, oh, and it looked like they weren't going to bring it back. I should just give a quick shout out. You can pick these up now and they're actually pretty cheap if you buy them on Amazon. They're like 30 bucks Australian, I think. Um, so I, I, I've put it in and I've actually played a lot of Rocket League with it. And to me now... I'd almost say this to me is the best controller you can get. Really? Yeah. Just because of the the attachment. Well, okay. So, you know, I've always been a fan of the off stick style because so not like not the, not the PS sort of, you know, symmetrical style, but more the off, off, offset style. But now that I've got the buttons at the back and, you know, especially playing a game like Rocket League, it's kind of like mind blowing how kind of precise I can do everything now because okay. like I genuinely can press four buttons simultaneously while controlling both the camera and my movement. And there is some like crazy, like it's, it's taken a lot for my brain to get, you know, into the, okay, I can do it like this, but the more I'm doing it now, like even in rocket league, I can do more tricks than I could do before. And it's just the controller. Like, well, that makes sense. Cause I mean, the biggest advantage I assume is that you can use the camera at the same time. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, it's the same thing, right? But the fact that you can use a camera, that's a huge thing. Wow. Yeah. And the cool thing I like about it is that this this actual, I, I don't have it on, but when you turn it on, this is an OLED screen on the actual wow. back of it. Cool. And you can then press the buttons to be able to set these two buttons to any single button on the DualShock. That's so that's like the R1, R2, but there's also like the face buttons, the share buttons, whatever you want. Yep. Uh, you know, like it, it's just, it's a weird it's such a niche item. Like I'm actually debating about just picking up a couple just to put in storage, just because I feel like uh, when it breaks, you'd be really pissed. <laughs> no, I I just feel like in ten years' time, people are going to be like, "What the hell was that?" And then it's just so hard to get because there's not that many available, and like people aren't buying it. Obviously, so you want to you want to scalp them. No, not scalp them. I just want to make sure that if it breaks, then I have another one. All oh, right, okay. Have they <laughs> have they announced a version? Have they- <laughs> Have they announced the version for the DualShock Five? Oh, sorry, the DualSense. That's it. No, ask the same. Oh, boring. No, and uh, look, product, an official Sony product. Sorry, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think just let me check if I got the box for, for the DualSense. Damn. Yeah, I got the sorry. box here for, on the video. Um, looks like a legit product. No, it is. Like, what do you mean? Looks. It is a legit product. Oh, but... You know, people make funny boxes that. It's just odd. Like, I don't know why they made it. I Like, the speculation that I agree with is that maybe at one point the dual sense was going to have trigger buttons at the back of it. And I have to say now playing it, like, I actually feel like someone's going to be smart to change the the orientation of the buttons. You know, like someone out there, like one of the, you know, maybe the next revision of Xbox or hopefully with Nintendo, they'll move, like, one of the buttons, you know, They'll have L and R at the top, and then they'll have like almost Swinny, like you know uh, the sixty four controller, the Z button. Mm. Well, the Xbox One has the uh, Xbox has the Elite control that has the back. The Elite control, yeah, but they'll actually make that standard. You're saying as an all. That's what I think. I think you could go just like have the two buttons at the top, and then have these bottom ones. I feel like just that should be it. Like the top buttons should be triggers. So just have the whole thing as triggers and then these bottom ones should just be the digital you know like what most controllers are r1 r l2 or r l and r so how come how come it took him so long you know till the end of the generation basically to 
do this. That's the weird part. I think that's where the speculation, and it it makes sense, right? So maybe what they were thinking was, you know, the dual sense was going to have these buttons moved. They wanted to have something to mirror where, and then you can use your jewels, uh, your dual shock four. But now you can't use your dual shock four on, you can't use anything other than a dual sense on the PS5 to play PS5 games. You can use a dual shock four to play PS4 games on the PlayStation 5. It's really straightforward. Very straightforward. Hey Swinny, um, do you reckon you could you could finish Dark Souls using this? He can't see it. He can't see the video. Oh, sorry, it's 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 the gear shifting. It's the the manual gear shifting Logitech. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, he, it's, 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 it's Logitech he, gear <laughs> stick. It's the gear stick for racing games. Yeah. Okay, so thank you. I, I can't <laughs> see visually. I'm forgetting I'm, that he. I'm sorry. I'm floating, you got to remember, it's, a, I'm, it's an audio podcast. I'm just well. a floating <laughs> Xbox Hall of Fame trophy that I don't <laughs> deserve because I'm not in the Hall of Fame. That you are. Officially, you're officially a part of it. No, you're, con- you're the embodiment of Cortana, just an AI that we talk to every week. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm really I curious re- about this because um, it's one of those things where you don't know until you actually experience it. Um, so the idea of you know going away from having the double like bumper trigger style stuff, um, L L one L two stuff until you try it, you know, I've, it's hard to kind of have a, a call on it for me. But it sounds like if, from what I've heard from the elite controller through to this back button that you know maybe that is the way of the future. But clearly they didn't implement it f- uh, as standard for the next gen. So. Yeah, and I think you know it's so telling that they didn't do anything with. Uh, the standard Xbox series controller because they would have the data. I'm sure they have the actual data to Mm. say how many people are using the triggers on the elite controller even. And, you know, it's the same as Sony. As much as people want, including me, backwards compatibility, they see the data. And it's probably just saying that people aren't playing a lot of games with backwards compatibility. So why expend all the energy to, to make that happen so but like i just wish like i would love for you guys to try this mm. i know that you, you you know mike you definitely play like i, de- I kind of wish i bought you one of these for our um big kringle the the, the thing I, with this is that oh, nice. i think one thing we we kind of forget is that controls are already really complicated for people that are new to games not so much mm. for a kid learning, more so someone. So this is this is only a now problem. In the future, I don't think it's probably as much of a problem. But like, just if you say to someone, "Oh, play a game," you know, like there's already a lot on these controllers. So I wonder if it's also at that point it was maybe getting a little to make that standard for next gen. Maybe it's the barriers a little higher than what they'd want. I don't know. Yeah, idea. that's fair. Or I actually, sell an extra attachment for fifty bucks. <laughs> for the dual sense true but i reckon it'll happen well i i would definitely get it because i i i was just gonna buy another because i've got two dual shock 4 controllers and i'm like oh i should just get another one so that i can put it in there and like you know have that on there do you want do you want one mike yeah yeah i wouldn't mind right. one actually. Right, but maybe hang, I'll order so it. hang on hang on <laughs> i don't have a ps4 anymore so but you can play PS4 games on the PS5 with you this. Can use the PS4 controller on the PS5. Only for PS4 but games. He doesn't have a PS4 controller yeah. though. No, he does. No, He's have PS4. Oh, did oh, you sorry. keep a PS4 controller? You didn't get rid of. We it. actually have the same one. We've got good taste. Oh, okay. The white one, okay. Arctic white. The one's the best. Uh, so, so no, I do have one. So as long as it works, yeah, I'd love to use one. All right. Well, I think it's it's cheaper to order two, so maybe I'll do that. It is okay. Cool. Then I'll just uh, I'll I'll beam you. Yeah, yeah. And then when I see you in person in five years' time. Five years' time, yeah. When the lockdowns. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. It's a weird accessory, but I'd actually love for you guys to try I love it. Accessories. Yeah, I really like it, man. Even I was playing Dark Soul. Uh, yeah, Dark Souls with it, and it was like, oh, okay. Like this is actually like useful. Like it, it was helpful for me. So, all right. Well, let's get into our next. Big wait, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 wait. You were playing Dark Souls? Can we just talk about that for a minute? Yeah, I already said that. A bit more about that? I've already spoken about it. But this is... I know I heard that you used to play it, but you just played it with that? That means you played it recently. How far did you get? What's going on? I want to hear about this. This is not a Dark Souls segment. 
<laughs> I know, but I want to hear about this. This is a momentous occasion. We've been trying to get you to play that game properly for years. I've spoken about this on the podcast. Tell us been, more. I get excited here. There's about nothing it. more to say. Like, I like I said, I'd still, at this stage, like Demon Souls more, but I haven't gone far enough into Dark Souls. The That's thing it. I said, I've said this to Swinney, like, just my life is really busy with the kids and everything like that. And it feels like I've got to, I got to get prepared for a fight playing Dark Souls. I feel like I'm going to a boxing match or something like that, you know? Look, I I, I don't know about you, Swinney. T- tell me what you think, but I feel like Dark Souls is the kind of game that you need to dedicate time to. Hmm. It's hard to get into it, then out of it, into it, then out of it, I, I find, as a game. You kind of need to play it for a proper chunk of time. I, I would agree, but also whenever I play Dark Souls, it's I ha- I don't play anything else. Like it's just yeah, it engrosses same. me where I'm like, okay, I'm just playing this now until That's until I until I've either finished this run or I've kind of done enough that I'm like, okay, I'll 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 move off, you know. It's like it, it, you need to be in the in the zone with that game, I think, in the sense that I've tried playing it on and off, and I find I just I suck at it almost. Yeah. I make really shitty mistakes, or I just run in just trying to rush it. It's a different experience. So until I think you get the time to really dedicate to it, I probably wouldn't even bother with it. No, like I, I think the fighting, and I've been watching a lot of boxing recently, so I'm always using these analogies, but I do think it's like a boxing analogy is quite apt. It's this whole thing of you, you're boxing fit. You're not always like that. You know, you have to go into training camp and then you're ready for the fight, you know. So I, I think mentally I already know that, but I've already started Deus Ex human revolution so i'm just going to get through that game and then i'll probably will start uh dark souls so that'll be the next cab off the rank so all right am i allowed to go into the next segment yet mike yeah okay yeah sure all right so 